me Abby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You probably already know it's me Abby, but if you're new, hi, I'm Abby. Nice to meet you. So I'm doing something really different today and because I was doing something different, I kind of changed up something. Very little, but I have a countdown. Look, 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 it's Mickey Mouse and look, 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 today is the... 23rd. Anyways, today's video is kind of for girls, unless you like scarves, then you're a dude. But we are going to style scarves. It sounds really boring, but I promise this might save your life one day. So, there's two different, well, probably more than two, but there's two different types of scarves that are, like, known today. Everyone has the infinity scarves. I have, like, so many of these things. Infinities are very common and very easy to style. But... Today, I thought I would focus more on scarves that are not infinity scarves. What are these called? I, I have no idea what these are called. And some of us will just get lazy and, like, tie them to make an infinity. Am I the only one that does that? Because I do that, like, all the time. Now, scarves are, like, incredible inventions. And I love scarves because they kind of go with anything. They can spice up any outfit you can imagine. They can spice up outfit. Watch. Well, this is an infinity, but still. Something like this, or even something like this, I guess. Anyways, you guys get the point. Scarves can kind of spice up anything. Well, to kind of make them a little bit different, we're going to learn how to tie them in different ways, especially ones that are not infinities, and you kind of don't know what to do with them. Like, do you just wear them like this? Because that looks weird. Do you wear them like that? Do you, do you wear them like that anyways so today i'm going to teach you how to spice up your ways to wear scarves so let, let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to start with is called the embellished snood it's a little weird you guys are wondering why it's called the embellished snood a snood is a historically type of european female headgear or in modern times a turb a tubular neck scarf yeah that's why it's called a snood but what you're gonna do is first take your normal scarf that is not an infinity scarf and put it around your neck. Now what you're gonna do is loop another around your neck, ow, to create a circle. Now you can leave it like this or you can continue to like loop it around like this and then you can pin it down with a brooch or some or a clip or something cute like that. But personally, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of this style. I'd rather keep it like this. This is more casual for me and I'm sure it doesn't really go with this outfit. If you kind of want to dress up your outfit a little bit, this would be the perfect style to do. The next style we're going to do is place this around your neck, then you're going to cross one piece over the other, fold under it like this, come out and then pull tight it says. So then we're going to repeat that last step to create a knotted look. So just fold it back under and out. then you can leave it like this. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I'm sure if it's a shorter scarf, it might look much better. So the next thing that we're gonna do is called the twisted waterfall. And we are going to grab the scarf by both ends and create a loop at one end. Now, instead of putting this around my neck, I'm going to twist the scarf. Now I'm gonna pull these loose ends from in here and then And then this is the knotted one. And I actually love this style and it's one of the ones I use most commonly. I don't usually do it with this scarf, but I tend to do it with this scarf a lot. So yeah. So that is another look and this was called the Twisted Waterfall. So the next style we're going to do is called the Bow Snood, which is kind of a weird name, but. So what you're first gonna do is place the scarf around your neck. Then you're gonna wrap the scarf once to create a circle. And once you have this style again, you're going to tie them to create, to tie the two loose ends to create a knot. And then from that knot, you're gonna create a bow. Um. Um. I don't know 
about this look. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is called the braided snood. So we're going to grab both ends and create a loop again. We're going to separate the two loose ends into equal parts. And now what we're going to start to do is just kind of intertwine the ends around the scarf, which I'm kind of sort of doing. It's not looking the way it does in the face. So this is what mine came out like. It says to then tie the ends, but to be honest, Too small okay we're done with that tutorial so I hope you enjoyed this video a little bit scarf thing didn't really work out but still this is a Christmas video and I hope you enjoyed it a little bit all of the ties of the scarves I got from Charming Charlie they gave me this piece of paper and I said I would follow it didn't really work that well and the scarf I used was also from Charming Charlie so shout out to Charming Charlie's they're amazing and even though their styles didn't work for me I'm sure they'll work for everyone else out there that knows how to style a scarf so again thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video remember to like this video if you enjoyed it if you're new to my channel welcome click the subscribe button right up there and please join our lovely squad so I love every single one of you. Stay my lovelies and have a fantabulous day. And I'm really sorry about that scarf experience. Okay, bye. Ow.